So here's some information about shapes. This is just a picture that I made, and I just want you to know to go to insert shapes in order to make some shapes. For example, like that house. And think about which order you would make them in, because the shape of the house is at the back. The door is on top of it, so you would make the rectangle at the back first before you made your next rectangle, which might be your door. So in this case, uh, I have a yellow door, a gold door, and I have a white outline that has a little bit of weight to it. And so there's two shapes. Now, if you keep making shapes one after the other, just notice that I'm going to make the window here. Just notice that if you're making one after the other, you can just come up here to get the next one. And I'm actually going to do the triangle and put that uh, roof on. And then I'm going to, actually I'll keep that off center, and uh, we're going to get in another lesson about how to line these. So actually I'll just nudge it over. You can use your arrows, it will nudge. But I'm going to take this window and I'm going to hold my control key and that's going to make a copy of that window. And I don't want it to be a little bit below or a little bit above. And so the shift key will actually keep it on that same horizontal line. And also, if I wanted to keep it on the same, the vertical, it is not working. Interesting, but it does work on the horizontal. It's a little bit of a puzzle. Uh, so that's another way that you can duplicate things to get uh, things exactly the same shape. Now, let's say that if I did that in the wrong order, and I didn't have this triangle, and I made the cloud first, and so I came into shapes, and somewhere there must be a cloud on here. Here it is. And I made that before. I made the roof, then now my order isn't right. And that's what I'm talking about when I say to utilize the picture tools to bring forward or backward. So if this is selected in my drawing tools here, I can send something backward or send it right to the back or send it behind text. So this is this is one way to do it. So you can see I click that and now my cloud is in the front and I think I'll make the fill uh, white. And there is another way to do this. And on my instructions, I have you go from the home group and it is over there, but just notice that it's actually also here in the drawing tools in the format tab where it should be. And if you click that, just notice that, again, if I wanted this triangle to be in front for whatever reason, I can select it and I can click it and hold it and drag it and just watch the line. See how it's above the cloud now? And if I drop it, now my triangle is now above, but I'm going to put it back. So click, hold, and drag. And where you see the line, once it's in the position you want, then let it go at that point. You can also uh, actually turn the visibility of things off, should you desire. You can do that. And I believe that you can even rename these. You sh I'm going to right click. I'm going to click. And it selects it. And I type house and enter. So if you have something complicated, you can actually rename these. You can move the order also up and down uh, with these little tools. Okay, so play around with your shapes. 
I will tell you something I saw the other day on a video, so I'm just going to get a new file here. And what they advised was to uh, use a drawing canvas if you were doing a lot of shapes. And they said it will crash less. I haven't had any issues, but I'm going to put a few shapes here. And what happens is that when you go outside of the canvas, which I'm going to double click and I'm off there, and here's some text. And when you move the canvas around, and let's just, let's just put it, uh, well, let's say behind the text and you do a canvas, then everything, every shape is going to move at the same time. So that was something new I picked up. Certainly isn't part of the MOSS exam. It's just telling you for your information.